Hello, so today we're going to be talking about scoliosis. So what's scoliosis? Well, scoliosis is a curve on the spine. The spine from behind should be straight with a level pelvis. From the side, it should have three curves. Now, in scoliosis, you can have a curve on the thoracic spine, on the mid-back, like that, like a C-shape. You can have the same thing on the lower back as well, C-shape here, or you can have an S-shape curve. So one side on the mid-back and then to the opposite side on the lower back. Now, what's the cause of scoliosis? Well, nobody knows. There's a lot of um, theories out there, but to tell you the truth, there's not a specific condition. Now, you can have uh, scoliosis because of some uh, neuromuscular conditions like cerebral palsy, uh, muscular dystrophy, but usually it develops uh, because of postural problems as well. Now, how do you know that you have a scoliosis? Well, if you have one shoulder higher than the other one, most likely you have scoliosis on the thoracic spine, so your spine is bending like that. If you have one side of the hip that is higher than the other one, well, most likely you have scoliosis on the lower back. If you have a combination of both, but well, you might have an S-shaped scoliosis. So this is an x-ray of a scoliosis uh, patient that I have, and you see that the spine is not straight, so there is a curve here. There's different methods to measure the scoliosis. This uh, scoliosis measures 43 degrees on the thoracic spine. So we're seeing the patient from behind, this is the right side, this is the left side. Now, on the lower back, you will see that the scoliosis is to the opposite side on the lower back. So a lot of curve. Now, the problem with this is that it's not just bending. You will have rotation of the vertebras as well, and that will put some pressure on the nerve. So that can lead to pain, okay? and the nerves from the spine, they go to the organs as well. So that can affect your organs. Usually when you have a scoliosis that is more than 50 degrees on the thoracic spine, that can start to affect your lungs as well because the, pre the space on the thoracic uh, area, the rib cage will decrease. You will start to bend to the side, the vertebras will rotate. So the ribs that attach to the vertebras on the sternum are going to be uh, misaligned as well. So you might see that you have one shoulder that is higher, but you're rotating as well. And when you bend like this, you may have one side of the rib case that is higher. Okay? So what can you do to treat scoliosis? Well, there's a lot of uh, different methods. Now scoliosis will go, will not go back perfectly straight. Okay. There's no cure for scoliosis, but you can prevent scoliosis from becoming worse. Now, one of the things that I, uh, what we do in our clinic is chiropractic adjustments, decompression of the spine, and rehabilitation exercises to stabilize the scoliosis, prevent the scoliosis from uh, keep getting worse, and to improve to some degree uh, the alignment and the motion of uh, the spine. Now, there's a surgery as well to uh, uh, correct scoliosis. I don't recommend that surgery unless this is affecting your breathing, your heart, and your organs then that will be the last resort. Now, in that surgery, what they do is they, well, open your back, pretty much, and then they will put two rods on the sides of the spine with screws to make the spine a bit straighter. Uh, this is a really um, intensive uh, surgery, uh, really invasive as well. And the problem with this uh, surgery is, is that Obviously, once you put rods on your spine, those areas are not going to move. So you're going to have a lot of movement, or most of the movement is going to come from the areas above and below, and you can start developing degenerative changes on those areas. So you might develop pain in those areas. So surgery should be the last result. So what is our approach with scoliosis patients? Well, keep in mind, the scoliosis is not going to go perfectly straight, okay? The main thing that you can do is stop the scoliosis from getting worse, stabilize the scoliosis, improve the mobility, improve the posture, and to a certain degree, improve the alignment of the spine. So reduce the scoliosis a bit, but it will not go back perfectly straight. Now, this helps to decrease the pain. Uh, it helps to decrease the pressure on your nerves, so decrease the symptoms of the scoliosis, decrease the tension on the muscles, and improve the mobility of the spine. Now, remember that scoliosis starts early when you are in your teenage years uh, and it's more common in ladies. So parents be aware of your kids posture, always check them uh, to see if they have any postural issues, shoulder higher, pelvis higher. 
Now, the first thing that I'm going to do with a uh, scoliosis patient, I'm going to palpate the spine to see where the restriction of movement, and then I will do uh, my regular chiropractic adjustment. So let's say this is the misalignment, I will go there and adjust. Sometimes you might hear a crack like that. That's just gas releasing from the joints. It's not the bone break, breaking or anything like that. Uh, and what this does is allows the joints to move better, reduce the pressure on the nerve, and reduce the tension on the muscles. Now, after I do my chiropractic adjustment, then I will use this machine to decompress the spine. So this is a flexion distraction machine. When this goes down, this opens up the space where this is and stretches the spine, stretches the muscles. So let's say this is compressed right here. When it goes down, it decompresses the spine, okay? Feels really good, especially for people that have scoliosis and people that have uh, slip disc problems. This is a great tool to uh, reduce that tension. Now let's say this patient has scoliosis and it's a thoracic scoliosis and you see that the curve is moving, it's like this, okay? So what I'm going to do with this table, I'm going to move to the opposite side to stretch the spine and make it a bit straight. I'm going to be moving the joints, adjusting, see that everything is moving correctly, and then I'm going to work on the muscles around the area because there are some muscles that are really, really tight, some muscles that are too weak, so I'm going to reduce that tension from those muscles. Okay? Now, after that, we go to the rehabilitation area to exercise, do rehabilitation exercise to improve your posture, improve the motion of your spine, improve the curves of your spine. We need to stretch the muscles that are too tight, strengthen the muscles that are weak, balance the muscles. Okay, so that's uh, our approach with scoliosis. Again, this is Dr. Kevin Tomasini from Spinal Performance.